I cannot believe I'm actually sitting down and doing this. What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel, The Soul Ray Effect, Ray. So today I have a mini Ulta and beauty supply store haul for you guys. Just some things that I had to re-up on and some things that were on my wish list, if you will. So I'm not gonna ramble too much into the intro, so let's just go ahead and get started. So as you've seen before, this is the Ulta bag. Um, I also have my beauty supply store bag in here. It wasn't much that I got, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out of the bag. So first is this little edge brush that I got. I actually really like these because they're very precise. Um, I have purchased the, the plastic one with a really thick brush at the end, but I don't like that one because it's very, very flimsy. So I really like this one and I think I got this for like 99 cents. And then lastly, I got three eyebrow razors because I do do my eyebrows myself. Every time I would go to the nail shop, they could never get my eyebrow shape right or if I would get my eyebrows threaded, um, they wouldn't do my arch correctly. So I just decided to start grooming my own eyebrows. I will be doing a eyebrow tutorial, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Now on to Ulta. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you from Ulta is this Makeup Revolution, um, Revolution Patricia Bright Rich in Life Eyeshadow Palette. So it comes in a cardboard box. So I'm just gonna open it up. And in my personal opinion, I really feel like a lot of people played Patricia for this eyeshadow palette. I went to Ulta and I swatched all the colors and I, you know, looked at the packaging. I absolutely loved it, but you know, my opinion to each his own. But it just comes in this tin container. And of course, Makeup Revolution at the top, Patricia Bright in the middle and it comes with a really pretty huge mirror. And here are all of the eyeshadows. I really like this palette because it has, see, I'm an everyday kind of girl. Um, I do work a nine to five job, so I can't really, um, you know, get all fancy, if you will, or glam, if you will. So I really like this palette because it has like everyday colors. And if you do want to spice it up a little bit, you have your um, brighter colors here. But I just really think that the shadows are very, very nice. If you guys want to see a eyeshadow tutorial, just comment down below and I will do that. I did purchase this at $25. Next is this Kylie Cosmetics setting powder. Now, I did look at all of the colors and I'm not the type of person to where I like a really highlighted, like extremely bright, bam, in your face under eye. Well, I just went with her beige setting powder. I do love the packaging on this. It's you know, plastic comes in 0.35 ounces and it just looks like this. Can't wait to use this. I'm really excited about it. I did see one of the YouTubers that I do watch, Brandy Giz, shout out to her uh, for making me purchase this, but I did see her use this and I wanted to try it for myself. Next is this Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear Concealer looks like this. I just got mine in 161 tan. Like I said, I personally don't like a really bright highlight. I prefer something that is maybe one shade um, lighter than my skin tone. But yeah, this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Next is a liquid lipstick from Smashbox. This is the Always On Liquid Lipstick and I got this in Girl Gang. She usually matches it with Current, but she said that MAC no longer has Current. I don't know, I haven't worn MAC in years, but this is just what the lipstick looks like. I really did like the way that it looked on her. We're both the same skin tone, so I thought it would really look nice on me. So I purchased it. Now a plane is going by.
like I mentioned earlier, she would pair her girl gang liquid lipstick with current. So I went and I tried to find something just as close. So this is the NARS Precision Lip Liner and this is in Ride It 9090. And here is what the pencil looks like. Just your regular average basic pencil. And here is the color. I don't know if it's picking up purple. I did try them on together because um, I wanted to see how it would pair together and it looked really, really good. So I can't wait to do a makeup tutorial using this. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I did buy two because when I swatched it in the store, I really, really liked the color. So that will be the end of my mini Ulta and beauty supply store haul, but I did wanna talk to you guys a little bit. First, I just wanna say whoever tuned in to this video, if you made it this far, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for subscribing. If you did subscribe, I will be uploading videos on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays but you guys have to bear with me just a little bit because I do work a nine to five job. So I will do my very best to make sure that I stick to my schedule. Honestly, I really didn't want to make a schedule because I was afraid to commit to something, but I know if I want to bring you guys some really good content, I know I have to stay consistent. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays is my current schedule, but there is no set time, so you guys have to make sure that you subscribe, turn on your post notifications bell so you are always notified when I do an upload. My videos will consist of hauls, product reviews, natural hair because I am a natural, and lifestyle videos. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in my next upload. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment. Oh, and also read the description box down below because that's where I will leave all of the information on any video that I do. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one.